24 hours before the Friday Night SmackDown Superstars take center stage in the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. We make a pit stop at the SAP Center in San Jose, California. And we want to take you back to last week's main event when the almighty Bobby Lashley went 1v1 against the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Randy Orton looking to build momentum towards his matchup with Cody Rhodes tomorrow night. But Bobby Lashley back on the blue brand for the first time since the draft, unfortunately coming up short. That RKO on the outside, laying waste to the almighty. Referee was already at a count of nine. Referee makes it to a count of 10. Orton, your victor. Bobby Lashley, not satisfied in defeat, put out the waiver to the locker room saying, who wants to fight? None other than the Celtic warrior, Sheamus, the one to step up. So much more on this matchup that we're going to talk about later tonight. Lashley, Sheamus, live in San Jose in your main event. And in just 24 hours, as we mentioned, the SmackDown superstars take center stage at the Blue Brand exclusive battleground event tomorrow night 5 p.m eastern time sacramento california is going to be rocking as championships are decided and egos are put to the test battleground going to be a night to remember but there is action on hand here in the sap center the tag team division has been heating up on friday night smackdown and it got that much bigger in the wwe draft the addition of Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits officially taking their talents right here to Friday Night SmackDown. Well, they are going to be tested in their Friday Night SmackDown showcase tonight. Going 2v2 against the Latino World Order's Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde. The tag team title is going to be on the line tomorrow night at Battleground when Austin Theory and Grayson Waller defend against Axiom and Nathan Frazier. These two teams are going to build momentum, maybe towards the front of the line, to earn number one contendership next. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 365 pounds, Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro. Joaquin Wilde, Cruz Del Toro. You also got Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio of the LWO. What about Imperium? As we mentioned, Nathan Frazier and Axiom. You add the Street Profits in there, Theory and Waller. The SmackDown Tag Team Division has been red hot over the last few weeks. Some great action from Bell to Bell in duos action. Titles will be decided tomorrow night in Sacramento with these two teams set to clash here in the home of the Sharks. San Jose, California. And I'll tell you, there may be no personal beef here, but sometimes that's when the best contests come alive, when competition is at its very high. Kicking things off on SmackDown tonight, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford drafted over here to the Blue Brand a number of weeks ago. Looking to start out on the right foot, but so is Joaquin Wilde in this matchup. Wilde exploding onto this scene. Double knees to the jawline of Montez Ford, but there's the speed and agility of Montez to get out of the way of whatever Wilde was thinking up next. Should be some great action between these agile superstars here tonight. Last time Ford and Dawkins were in action was back at Backlash several weeks ago. Their final outing associating with the Raw brand woman 2v2 against Jay and Jimmy Uso for the World Tag Team titles. Extremely physical contest all on that night in Puerto Rico, but of course it was the Usos retaining their World Tag Team titles and sending the Street, street Profits packing here to Friday Night SmackDown. I am sure Dawkins and Ford not looking to come up with another loss tonight, especially against Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro. Two men who fell to Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium a few weeks ago. Both these teams looking for a bounce back victory as Angelo Dawkins and Cruz Del Toro tagged in. And look at the speed of Del Toro. Pop up, Tornado DDT, Dawkins staring up at the lights of the SAP center, but not for long. Angelo Dawkins could be the difference maker in this match. So much speed and agility and high flying antics of the LWO as well as Montez Ford. Angelo Dawkins may need to bring things down this size. Easier said than done when he got Del Toro torkscrewing through the air. Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde looking to bounce back from that loss against Imperium several weeks ago. 
And a quick tag to Montez Ford. Dawkins got tagged in and immediately realized what the Street Profits were up against tonight. Maybe a very motivated Latino world order. And of course, we found out earlier this week on social media that another LWO member and the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar, going to have his hands full of El Idolo, Andrade, as those two men will go one-on-one -on -one in just 24 hours from tonight in Sacramento at Battleground. But what about tonight on SmackDown? Another member of the LWO in action. The Hall of Famer, Rey Mysterio, going to have his hands full against one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Austin Theory. Santos Escobar defeated Theory a few weeks back. Theory and Waller have not forgotten. Ahead of their Tag Team title match tomorrow night, Austin Theory looking to get some momentum back on the champ side. Theory and Mysterio later tonight here in San Jose. Montez Ford doing a number on Cruz del Toro. Angelo Dawkins now looking to pick up some of the slack that the Street Profits have found in this matchup. And that is where Dawkins may be the difference maker. Grounding del Toro, bring him down to the canvas and using his size and speed and his strength over Cruz del Toro to keep him down momentarily. Cruz del Toro finding himself in enemy territory. Dawkins, nothing pretty here. Couple of boots, couple of left hands a moment ago. Now Cruz del Toro is all sorts of out of whack. Don't want to speak too soon. Del Toro and Wild have found themselves with their backs against the wall before. They have bounced back before. These two men have challenged for Tag Team Championship Gold. And I'm sure would love to do so again. Big time exploder from Angelo Dawkins as Del Toro was trying to come alive. The one half of the Street Profits that is currently the legal competitor in this match, not allowing the LWO to rise from the ashes. Still to come tonight, as we mentioned, in your main event, the almighty Bobby Lashley one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. Bobby Lashley wanted Randy Orton tonight for what we understand. Hold that thought, Cruz del Toro, Poison Rana, shooting star press into the cover. Montez Ford able to kick out. Talk about a resurgence in this matchup for the LWO. But it may not last too long. Cruz del Toro brought in enemy territory again, but fighting out from the back of him. Poison Rana shooting star press may not have gotten the three count, but certainly got the LWO back in this matchup. And a much needed tag to Joaquin Wilde. Some fresh legs to the Latino World Order in this matchup, but Montez Ford will stop the LWO dead in their tracks. As we are about to mention, the almighty Bobby Lashley won another round with the Apex Predator Randy Orton tonight. Management said, listen, Randy Orton's in action in a steel cage match tomorrow night at Battleground. That match isn't going to happen tonight in San Jose. Lashley said, fine, I'll issue a challenge to the locker room to try to blow off some steam. We already knew the Celtic Warrior Sheamus would be returning to SmackDown tonight. Now those two paths going to cross in your main event. Lashley and Sheamus later tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Montez Ford. Not allowing Joaquin Wilde to continue the momentum that Cruz del Toro started a few moments ago. Now Dawkins muscling him down. Oh, and a cheap shot. But Joaquin Wilde gonna make him pay. Another super kick. Angelo Dawkins brought himself into enemy territory. Now is trying to find a way out. Nice neck breaker by Wilde. And a much needed reversal at that. Both these teams looking for a bounce back victory tonight. And I'm sure we'll both have their eyes on the tag team title match tomorrow. Joaquin Wild soaring through the skies here in San Jose, California. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller defend the WWE Tag Team Championship tomorrow night against Axiom and Nathan Frazier. One of these teams could be waiting in the wind. Beautifully executed maneuver by Joaquin Wilde. Angelo Dawkins finding himself on spaghetti legs and a headlock driver variation. LWO, victory in sight, not just yet. Montez Ford not allowing Joaquin Wilde to cross the finish line. Oh, wait a minute, Dawkins. Great agility there, able to muscle Wilde down. Almost stole the victory with the inside cradle. 
Goes for the boot, does not get all of it. Joaquin Wild now. From behind. Great resilience being shown by the LWO in this matchup, but this is what they need to do. Keep their foot on the gas pedal. Oh, and Joaquin Wild going for an over-the-top rope splash on Dawkins. I don't think he got much of it. They'll call it high risk, high reward for nothing. Joaquin Wild makes up for it off the Acai Moonsault. If it doesn't work once, try again, and Joaquin Wild certainly doubled the favors on that time. LWO looking to start the weekend right. Joaquin Wild and Cruz del Toro looking to set the pace for the Latino World Order. A victory tonight could bleed into a victory for Rey Mysterio later tonight on SmackDown, and all that momentum could really aid Santos Escobar and his matchup against El Idolo Andrade tomorrow night in Sacramento. Oof. Cruz del Toro tagged in, springboard kick right to the jawline. Angelo Dawkins is in trouble right now. Street Profits certainly being tested upon their arrival to Friday Night SmackDown. Had success on Monday Night Raw over the last few months, but really weren't able to cross that proverbial finish line. Remember, they were in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic for the Raw brand back at the Elimination Chamber several months ago. Came up short against Jay and Jimmy Uso, and that team of the Uso seemingly their kryptonite on the red brand. As we mentioned, they fell short in their pursuit of the World Tag Team titles just a few weeks ago in San Juan, Puerto Rico at Backlash. They may be falling short against the LWO tonight. Not just yet, Angelo Dawkins still in this matchup. This is the great tag team competition that we've been discussing. It's really been heating up on SmackDown. Dawkins and Ford, a great addition to the tag team division. They are not looking to be just another name on the list. They are coming for the smoke tonight. Dawkins, much needed comeback. Running over Del Toro with the shoulder block. Not enough to get a three count. This is what Dawkins has got to do. Just try to ground Cruz Del Toro or even Joaquin Wilde if he finds a way back into this matchup. And fresh legs now in Montez Ford entering the squared circle. Three Profits falling behind the last several minutes. Montez Ford looking to play catch up. Signature splash right down to the canvas. And now Montez Ford going up. Coming from the heavens with nobody home. A much needed reversal that time. Cruz Del Toro getting out of harm's way. Montez Ford crashing a little bit of burning. And El Del Toro going to the top. Frog Splash! Cover! And Montez Ford gets the shoulder up. We have got a barn burner on our hands here in the SAP Center, San Jose, California, on their feet. These two teams starting the precedent, setting the pace for what is going to be a great weekend for the SmackDown brand. Battleground tomorrow night. Joaquin Wilde tagged in. Double boots. Maybe a knockout blow. Any day of the week, twice on Friday. Dawkins breaking things up. Man, Joaquin Wilde had to believe that was going to be it. Cruz Del Toro with the frog splash a few moments ago. Wilde with the double boots. Dawkins not allowing a three count. Joaquin Wilde doing anything he can to make sure the LWO stays in the driver's seat. Montez Ford being brought to the top all the while Del Toro and Dawkins brawling away at ringside. Missile drop kick lands flush. And we said at the top of this thing, no personal beef between these two teams coming into this. It's all about the competition and all about the chance of moving your team one step closer to earning a shot at the tag team titles. Joaquin Wilde looking to do so right now. Roll up doesn't go his way. Montez Ford over into the cover. And that does not go his way. Back and forth, we start to swing in your opening matchup tonight in San Jose, California. I don't think anybody expected this kind of competition kicking things off. But SmackDown brand is on fire right now, and the Street Profits of the LWO showing you why. Tag made to Dawkins. Maybe the strength and size will be the equalizer. My goodness! 
Walking Wild going for an amusement park ride. We ain't in Disneyland tonight, but we ain't too far. Joaquin Wilde may be seeing the magic stars, and now Angelo Dawkins bringing it back into enemy territory. The Street Profits may be nearing victory. Down he goes! Joaquin Wilde and the LWO's pursuit of victory going up in smoke, not just yet, not to be denied. Montez Ford thought he had it. The Street Profits thought they secured the bag tonight. But the LWO may just want it more. Coming up short to Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium just a few weeks ago. Not looking to go on the record books with another loss. The double knees lands flush just as we started this matchup is how we continue it. Montez Ford. Slowly getting to his feet, and Joaquin Wilde gonna meet him in the middle. Tag made to Del Toro. LWO trying to keep some fresh legs in this tag team matchup tonight on SmackDown. Muscled him down that time. Great effort late into this matchup by Cruz. Now Ford making the tag. Montez Ford got tagged in, didn't make much of a dent, but Angelo Dawkins. Making sure Cruz Del Toro doesn't miss out on the fun. And now muscles him up. Del Toro from behind. Big time drop kick. And there's been some great reversals in this matchup. These two teams doing their homework on the opposers. Angelo Dawkins to the outside. Wait a minute. Dishing it right back to the Street Profits. They got a cheap shot in earlier. Cruz Del Toro doing the same this time. Del Toro taking out both members of the Street Profits. Here we go, Latino World Order. Look at that, outrun the Street Profits here tonight on SmackDown. Dawkins in the ring, being muscled up by Del Toro. How much is left in the tank from behind now? Submission hold locked in. Cruz Del Toro trying to find another way, but I don't know if he's got enough left in the tank to hold on to that maneuver. Angelo Dawkins creating some distance and much needed at that. Del Toro being brought into the corner in the middle of this great tag team wrestling matchup tonight. Dropping the elbow to the heart. And a shooting star press. Del Toro stacking the offense. Springboard. What a moonsault off the bottom rope. Great maneuver by Del Toro. One for Montez Ford. Cruz scaling the ropes once more. Going for a Phoenix splash. Nobody home. A heartbreaking. Crash landing for Cruz Del Toro as Angelo Dawkins saying, this is our reemergence on SmackDown, not yours. That might be the end of the road for the LWO in this tag team matchup. I don't know how you survive. That kind of crash landing off a of Phoenix Splash. And not Angelo Dawkins almost getting the victory that time. Joaquin Wilde getting an elbow for his troubles. Now the Street Profits looking to divide and conquer. Oh, wait a minute here. Dawkins took his eye off the ball. Cruz Del Toro taking advantage. Montez Ford's back is turned. The LWO steal the victory. What a tag team match. Tonight here in the SAP Center in San Jose, California. The Street Profits arrive along SmackDown, not going their way. The LWO setting the pace for the rest of their brothers and a great tag team matchup to kick things off on the blue brand. They fell short to Imperium a few weeks ago, but they bounced back in glorious fashion tonight against the Street Profits. We'll see who leaves Battleground with the WWE Tag Team Championship 
but let's keep an eye on the LWO. Their pursuit of the gold may be just getting started. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Brawl and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us, and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday only on TikTok. For 166 days, the Ring General, Gunther, has held on to the World Heavyweight Championship here on Friday Night SmackDown, accumulating a record since his SmackDown debut in December of 2022 of 29 victories and only one defeat. Since winning the championship, Gunther has turned away the challenges of Hall of Famers like Edge, future Hall of Famers like Brock Lesnar, stars of today like Ricochet, and even Drew McIntyre, not once but twice, most importantly in the main event of WrestleMania. But of course that night is remembered not only for Guther's successful defense of the gold, but of the shocking return of the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Gunther has not forgotten about the two emphatic spears that Roman Reigns delivered in AT&T Stadium. But Roman Reigns not only sent a message, he went on to earn his opportunity by turning away the Scottish Warrior three weeks ago at Backlash. Gunther, of course, retained the World Heavyweight Championship against now Rawls acquisition Braun Breaker, and the stage is set. Sometimes in this business, stories are as simple as two icons, two juggernauts going face to face and competing over the best, competing over the richest gold, and that is what tomorrow night is all about. For 166 days, Gunther has held on to the World Heavyweight Championship, and will Roman Reigns be number two on that 29 and one record for the ring general? It is Gunther versus Roman Reigns for the World Heavyweight Championship tomorrow night in Sacramento, California at Battleground. And of course this man, alongside the Aussie icon Grayson Waller, set to defend the WWE Tag Team Championship in just 24 hours, but he's got his hands full with Rey Mysterio tonight. A-Town Down Under has held the gold since WrestleMania Sunday, but will that title reign be expiring tomorrow night as the hot young team of Nathan Frazier and Axiom are set to take on Austin Theory and Grayson Waller? The luck has been on their side as of late. Will it continue tomorrow night when the WWE Tag Team titles are on the line? Austin Theory approaches this matchup with Rey Mysterio tonight with one thing in mind, and that's doing good by his team, A-Town Down Under, and bringing the momentum to the Tag Team Champions. It was last month right here on SmackDown that Santos Escobar picked up the victory over that man, Austin Theory. Of course, moments after that celebration spoiled by the man who is seemingly at ringside, if we can get the camera on him, Andrade is out here with Austin Theory. Wait a minute, why is Andrade out here with Austin Theory tonight? Grayson Waller, uh, obviously normally accompanying his partner. Uh, however, Andrade's out here at ringside. A man who has been trying to recruit Rey Mysterio. Obviously, Rey Mysterio has brushed him off. That has really developed the issues between Andrade and Escobar. But what is Andrade doing out here, right here, right now? And his opponent, representing the LWO from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey. 
Well, Rey Mysterio coming out here tonight, looking to go one-on-one -on -one with Austin Theory, I'm sure with championship aspirations in mind, but now he's gotta keep Andrade in the back of his mind. Andrade, ever since his SmackDown return, has been in the backstage area spreading rumors and talking to anybody who will listen that he's been trying to recruit Rey Mysterio away from the LWO, join up his tag team partners, and really bury the past in the Latino world order. Rey Mysterio has wanted nothing to do with Andrade. Santos Escobar has been sticking up for the LWO as of late. Even eliminated Andrade from the Battle Royal last week here on SmackDown. And that has really led to their one-on-one -on -one match tomorrow night at Battleground. But now Andrade is out here tonight. A close eye on Rey Mysterio in the corner of one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Austin Theory. Well, I certainly do not like this for the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio never won to back down from a challenge, the biggest little man in WWE history. And whether it's Andrade, Austin Theory, or everybody in between, gotta give this matchup a fight, but he almost got caught there. Oof. Austin Theory just trying to keep the momentum on the side of the Tag Team Champions, if you even want to call it that. If anything, you could say, get some momentum back on their side. Austin Theory came up short to Santos Escobar a few weeks ago. Just last week, Grayson Waller failed in a matchup against one half of the number one contenders, Nathan Frazier. If anything, the challengers tomorrow night riding a high. Austin Theory in trouble. Frankensteiner from the top rope by Mysterio. This may be a must win for Austin Theory tonight. But not if Rey Mysterio's got anything to say about it. Not too far from his home in San Diego, but Rey Mysterio may be arriving to San Jose. Almost getting caught in the inside cradle that time. I don't know what the mind of Austin Theory and Grayson Waller and Andrade are skewing up against Rey Mysterio in the LWO tonight. And I certainly don't like it for Ray, who has got his leg locked in an ankle lock right now. Austin Theory, young and brash and talented as all hell, will give him that, always adding new maneuvers to the repertoire. 2023 King of the Ring tournament winner. Of course, one half of the Tag Team Champions and one half of the SmackDown Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners this year. Austin Theory starting to get a List of accolades a mile long, but certainly not as long as the man he wrestles tonight in Rey Mysterio. Regardless of the accolades, that is gonna help Rey Mysterio right now. Back against the wall and back on the floor. Power bomb by Austin Theory on the outside. Rey Mysterio may be in trouble as one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions is starting to have his way with the Hall of Famer. Oof. We'll never count out Ray. Stiff forearm. Wait a minute. Canadian Destroyer! My goodness! Way into the cover. Austin Theory able to get the shoulder up. Meanwhile, you saw in the back corner Andrade looked like he was slipping the turnbuckle pad off that ring post that time. Mysterio into the ropes and oh, come on now! Andrade starting to stick his nose where it doesn't belong. First taking the turnbuckle pad off the corner and now grabbing the ankle of Rey Mysterio. Mysterio with his back against the proverbial wall tonight on SmackDown. You knew there was a reason that Andrade accompanied Austin Theory out here tonight. Andrade wanted to team with Rey Mysterio. At least that's what the backstage rumors have told us. But now it looks like he's anti-LWO. And look at a cost Rey Mysterio this matchup tonight is El Idolo, who is currently at ringside. Santos Escobar and the LWO certainly cannot be happy about this as Rey Mysterio in trouble. Going for a ride face first on the canvas. Austin Theory with a victory tonight, and certainly with an asterisk. With the help of Andrade, Austin Theory with the victory, Grayson Waller gonna accompany him for the celebration. And wait a minute, now what? 
Grace and Waller coming out here to celebrate, but there's the number one contenders, Nathan Frazier and Axiom, not following too far behind. They're coming for the tag team titles. The gold is gonna be on the line tomorrow night in Sacramento at Battleground. Well, as you saw earlier tonight, Randy Orton with the countout victory over the almighty Bobby Lashley last week on SmackDown. However, Randy Orton's celebration certainly short-lived thanks to the arrival of the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, who set a trap and Randy Orton fell right into it. Cody Rhodes calling for a steel cage to be lowered. Cody Rhodes making his re-emergence for the first time since Backlash, where he was sent home in an ambulance by the Apex Predator. This rivalry between Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton has reached an all-time peak over the last several months here on SmackDown. And Cody looking for the ultimate vengeance as he delivered this beatdown to Randy Orton inside the cage. Well, after last week's showdown in the middle of Friday Night SmackDown, the steel cage will once again be lowered in just 24 hours in the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. Cody Rhodes looking to write the final chapter of this story with the Apex Predator. Randy Orton looking to solidify his spot here on SmackDown. The steel cage match between the Viper and the American Nightmare. El Idolo, Andrade, getting his hands dirty tonight, and I don't think he would have it any other way. He has played mind games with the Latino World Order inside the ring and outside of it. Now, for the first time ever, he collides with the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar, which should be a great Lucha collision tomorrow night at Battleground. The new number one contender, Carmelo Hayes, won the Battle Royal last week and earned his shot at Ricochet's United States Championship. The human highlight reel dethroning AJ Styles just a few weeks ago, and now in his very first defense, he puts the red, white, blue, and gold on the line against him, Carmelo Hayes. We saw the showdown moments ago, Nathan, Frazier, and Axiom. These two cruiserweights have come together and have been a red hot addition to the tag team division. But will that momentum be enough? to take down the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners of this year. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller await a championship defense against these cruiserweight stars tomorrow night. And speaking of the cruiserweight division, it is gonna be a war of all wars. The last man standing match between the Irish Ace, JD McDonough, and the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. This story has been developing since the month of December here on SmackDown. Who will be the last man standing tomorrow night and leave with the Cruiserweight Championship of the world? And certainly more world championships to be decided. It is the WrestleMania rematch between Raquel Rodriguez and the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Raquel's heartbreak at WrestleMania only motivated her to bounce back to number one contendership. Can she take down Baszler or will the dominance of the Queen continue? And as we saw earlier tonight, it is a clash of titans for 166 days. Gunther has held the World Heavyweight Championship with an iron fist, but Roman Reigns steps up to the plate next. Tomorrow night, these two men wage war to see who rightfully sits at the head of the table of Friday Night SmackDown. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line tomorrow night in the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time as SmackDown presents Battleground. But it is main event time in the SAP Center. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. The almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley upset of the result seven nights ago wanted Randy Orton tonight. With Orton signed, sealed, and set to be delivered in a steel cage tomorrow night, management saying, listen, Lashley, you want to fight, go ahead, but it ain't going to be against Randy Orton. Lashley threw out the challenge to the locker room. We already knew that the Celtic warrior Sheamus would be in the house tonight, 
Sheamus never one to turn away a game of fisticuffs accepting this challenge thrown out by the Almighty. And now these two men who are both recently drafted over here to SmackDown courtesy of Monday Night Raw take center stage on the blue brand. Both men looking to take the next step in their SmackDown careers. Bobby Lashley, I'm sure, is not in a good mood after the result of last week's collision with Randy Orton. Another date with the Viper to be determined. But tonight he's got his hands full with a brawling brute himself. I'm checking the calendar and it's fight night here on SmackDown. Representing the brawling brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior. This is the first time Sheamus is walking down the aisle in about a month here in WWE. He was involved in the most recent steel cage match before tomorrow night against Karrion Cross over on Monday Night Raw. It was a victory for the Harbinger of Doom last month on the red brand. Sheamus sent packing alongside Butch and Ridge Holland in the draft right here to SmackDown. We knew Sheamus would be arriving here tonight on the blue brand, but we didn't know against who. And now we have a heavyweight collision. 24 hours before the landscape of SmackDown hangs in the balance, the Celtic warrior Sheamus, the almighty Bobby Lashley, set to lock horns right here, right now. It all has sounded that we are underway, similar to our tag team matchup that really tore down the house in the SAP Center earlier tonight. No personal beef between these two teams, but certainly competition and a chance to take the next step, possibly earning yourself a future championship opportunity. Bobby Lashley not looking to come up short for the second week in a row since arriving once again on SmackDown. And as for the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, who has spent the last couple of years on Monday Night Raw, certainly closed that book on a negative note. Looking to start his SmackDown reemergence on a positive one. Cannot wait to get to the Golden One Center in Sacramento tomorrow night. Are you not entertained? As you saw moments ago, it is a stacked field. All the SmackDown championships going to be on the line. Personal vendettas, a steel cage match, a last man standing match, a class of titans in the main event. It is going to be a night to remember in the King City of Sacramento tomorrow night. Right now, we are in the home of the Sharks. San Jose has been rocking all night long. On the eve of Battleground, Lashley and Sheamus taking center stage. Sheamus looking good in the opening moments. Lashley looking to turn the Celtic Warrior literally on his head this time. The aggression of the Almighty starting to come out in your main event match. And we talked about it last week, how Bobby Lashley in the last couple of months of his Monday Night Raw career was really in his own head, so frustrated not getting a one-on-one -on -one match that he so desired for the WWE Championship. Lashley felt coming over here to Friday Night SmackDown in the draft really was a blessing in disguise, a chance to start anew, to clear his mind and start down the right path. And of course, Lashley had those thoughts in mind before Randy Orton delivered an RKO on the outside last week and stole a victory via countout. What's going through the mind of the almighty here tonight in San Jose may be a different story. Lashley not looking to go 0-2 since re-arriving on the blue brand and so far so good. Knocking the Celtic Warrior Sheamus down to size. Not sure which one of these men would be the stronger of the two, but Lashley may be the more agile. Lashley getting up there over the top rope tonight. Willing to throw caution in the wind if it means picking up the W. Bobby Lashley now really starting to take out some aggression on Sheamus here at ringside. No personal beef, but competition at an all-time high. Sheamus never afraid for a fight. And I'm sure is welcoming this clash with Bobby Lashley with open arms. Sheamus overhead kick to the Almighty. Now sending Lashley back inside the ring. Sheamus wasn't looking to keep this fight between the ropes tonight on SmackDown. Oof. Nothing pretty about that. Just a mean uppercut right to the jawline. A couple more of those. Lashley's going to be eaten out of a straw. 
just like that, Sheamus able to turn the tides in this matchup. As we mentioned, the last time Sheamus was in action, last month on Monday Night Raw, a brutal steel cage match against a longtime rival in the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. It was an unfortunate defeat for Sheamus on that night. Karrion Cross really doing a number on Sheamus inside of that cage. Sheamus taking a number of weeks off, and now back here on SmackDown, I am sure, is feeling better than ever. When you run into somebody like the almighty Bobby Lashley, fatigue gonna set in a lot earlier than the average opponent. Bobby Lashley distances it out tenfold, and Sheamus looking to do the same tonight. Sending him right into those diamond-plated steel steps, and now the fight once again making its way to the outskirts of the squared circle. I'm sure Sheamus and Bobby Lashley, regardless of the result tonight, are gonna have their eyes on the World Heavyweight Championship match that is taking place in just 24 hours from now. The ring general, Guther, 29 wins and only one defeat in his Friday night SmackDown career. 166 days as World Heavyweight Champion. Guther defends the gold against the self-proclaimed Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns, who will sit at the head of the table on Friday Night SmackDown with the big gold belt. We're going to find out tomorrow night in the King City of Sacramento, California. Back and forth, the pendulum of momentum starts to swing. Lashley trying to get back into this thing. Sheamus denying his efforts. Not many people are going to be able to knock down Bobby Lashley with such ease, but the Celtic Warrior Sheamus is just a different breed inside of that ring. He's done all there is to do, won every championship there is to win. Sheamus at this point in his career is doing it for the fun, is doing it for the love of the game, is doing it for the competition that he sees here tonight. These are the fights that Sheamus lives for. Off the top, Bobby Lashley, only a one count that time, able to get the shoulder up. Not many people gonna be surviving a move like that, delivered by the hands of Sheamus. And just as we said for Sheamus a few moments ago, we could almost say the same for Lashley. These guys are different breeds, just built different. The almighty Bobby Lashley on the receiving end of a couple of mean backbreakers by Sheamus. He is gonna feel that one tomorrow morning. And the cover, maybe all she wrote, Bobby Lashley, last ditch effort, getting the shoulder off the canvas. A close call if I ever saw one. Sheamus controlling the last few minutes of this matchup. Now or never for the almighty, look at that! Right on cue. Belly to belly suplex. Never doubt out Bobby Lashley, especially after that count out loss last week. Sheamus getting the shoulder up, but Bobby Lashley doing what he needs to do to get back into this match. Had a great showing against the Apex Predator Randy Orton seven nights ago. Did not end the way Lashley would have hoped. The RKO on the outside, knocking Lashley out long enough for 10 seconds. Lashley not looking to revisit history unless it's the history from earlier this matchup. Lashley going for the dose over the top rope, taking out Sheamus. And now, foot on the gas pedal. Sheamus going for a ride on the floor of the SAP Center. Bobby Lashley in firm control. Looking like an absolute unit, an absolute beast. Sheamus controlling a few minutes in this matchup. Wasn't able to put the almighty away, and that may come back to haunt the Celtic Warrior. Lashley's wheels are a-turning, and Sheamus looking dazed and confused. Trying to create some distance is the Celtic Warrior here. Little collar and elbow getting Lashley off his back. Bro kick out of nowhere. Almost had this matchup won. The bro kick land right on the money, but the almighty Bobby Lashley survives. This capacity crowd here in San Jose giving their love to these two fighters. Spear! Bobby Lashley exploding onto the scene, cutting Sheamus in half. Bounce back victory for the almighty. Well, that 
has got to feel good for the almighty Bobby Lashley. A victory tonight after a disappointing loss last week. But you got to believe Lashley has still got the apex predator Randy Orton in his mind. The rematch is going to come in due time, but all roads lead to tomorrow night in Sacramento when SmackDown presents the 2024 Battleground. We'll see you tomorrow night.